What's going on guys, it's Jeff for Mad Hatter's Reef and today we're going to take a look at my Magnus Wag. Alright guys, so I wanted to put a video together showing everything that I got at Magna. Everything from the corals to the swag uh, to the literature and t-shirts and all that stuff. So let's kick the tires and light the fires. Alright guys, so we're going to take a look at some of the swag that I got from Magna this year. And I got quite a few shirts, actually a lot more than what I got here. I did get the purple one is uh, Coral View. And then I got a Dr. Uh, Foster's and Smith and Rod's food and I got a lot of information that I haven't really even gotten through yet it's on my raffle stuff that I'm going to be digging through here and probably blogging about on the website from time to time uh, this is something I talked about in an earlier video this is actually uh, the travel container that I picked up at Macna and it's a little salty but uh, basically when you have a frag plug uh, with the stem you put it in there and it holds it in place and it's also good for dipping too so like when you come home you can take the coral whoop. when you come home you can take the coral out and then mix up the solution and put the frags back in there and you can actually um, just mix them up right in the container and this is supposed to be TSA um, approved some people didn't have any trouble at all getting their corals on their carry-on bags um, I did hear some people did have trouble, so uh, it's a 50-50 shot as far as um, getting your corals home from Macna. I checked mine. I used this cooler that came in this yellow bag, uh, Rod's Food Cooler, and I put some towels from the uh, hotel, don't tell the hotel, in there and just put it in the middle of my luggage and got my corals home like that. So this uh, Neptune Systems bag. I got that at the Neptune Systems meetup. That was the first thing Friday morning. And that was actually where I got some of uh, the best items from back there. See if I can dig some of that out here. So I got these super cool glasses. Super, super cool glasses. Spare no expense. Uh, I got a really nice glass um, for drinking beverages. It says Control Freak on the back, New Orleans. Also got a... Uh, little shot glass, Neptune system shot glass, so it's always something that you need. I didn't realize that that has a uh, orange bottom, that's kind of cool. Got a bunch of different uh, koozies. This one right here, these guys actually gave me a beer, which was pretty awesome at the show. Um, so that's why the koozie looks a little used. I got a pro aquatic koozie with a Magna. So definitely got plenty of koozies. I actually had no koozies uh, prior to Magna and then got Quite a few literature from Premium Aquatics. Uh, Premium Aquatics scrubby pad. Got this nice uh, drinking tin. Got some Kemi Pure Blue Nano. I'm gonna be buying some of this for the big tank here pretty soon. Having some phosphate troubles. Got two containers, two packages of that. Then got some bug bites uh, food. Now this is something that a lot of the vendors were passing out. I didn't grab that many of them. Uh, I just don't really have a use for them. I'm going to give them to the kids after I do this video, but uh, a lot of these uh, vendors had beads and um, I really only got the one, I, the only one that I actually grabbed on my own was the Max Spec one. The uh, Neptune Systems one came with the bag and that also came with your uh, your bag that you got when you registered for uh, Macna. Also got a nice uh, towel from Neptune Systems. Uh, it's like a microfiber towel and it's got like a little retractable thing so you can look really cool and clip that on your pants and walk around all professional like really cool really cool especially with you wear these glasses and have this towel that's that's uh some pimp stuff right there these came in your uh magnet pack i got two of them i'm not sure if i was supposed to get two of them uh, but again some more glass cleaning towels can't ever have enough of those and then I got some uh, pretty awesome frag plugs. I actually have already used some of these. Pretty, pretty decent plugs. 
and I got a stray button. Uh, that's a big thing at Magna. A lot of people, they do the button hunts. Um, I don't know if they do them daily or just one time and one time only, but I did get myself some buttons, as you guys can see right here. Uh, I'm probably going to hang this up by the tank, play, but I got a little bit of everybody there uh, with my attendee badge. I got a couple of pens, some type of glass scraper. I'm not exactly sure what this is, uh, but it came from Aqua Ray, solid state of lighting. Uh, there was quite a few vendors that had these little um, scrapers, I guess is what they are. And then I got some Omega-1 marine pellets. I always use more food. And then I got some Hydroplex. I'm not exactly sure what this stuff is. It says cleaning bath for new arrivals, livestock, and plants. Hydroplex. Ruby Reefs. Give your fish a healthy start. So I guess that's some type of dip for your... Oh, I don't want to mess up my awesome glasses. Um, some type of dip. For a new arrival new fish and that's pretty much it guys as far as what I got for swag so outside the magna items that you get in the bag and the buttons and all that stuff uh, something you know that's really interesting about magna is you get to connect with vendors and chat with them about stuff well I stopped by the Fluval booth and was doing some uh, b-roll footage over there and the guy stopped me and we started talking about stuff and I had mentioned that at one point I actually had a Fluval spec that I had converted into a saltwater aquarium. And some of the tanks that they had on display was the Evo. And the Evo is basically Fluval's answer to people like myself uh, taking a Fluval spec and turning it into a saltwater aquarium. So after talking for a little bit, uh, he wanted me to take a look at the Evo. I can't get it in frame. Here it is. So he sent me out the 13 and a half gallon Evo saltwater kit and with the protein skimmer. So that is going to be uh, something that we're going to start working on here pretty soon. Get that up and running and start a 2.0 version of the Nano Reef build. Uh, definitely looking forward to trying this out. Uh, some of the things that it has made adjustments to help out the saltwater. Uh, side of things is the lighting. The lighting is much better. Uh, it's also sealed in silicone, has the protein skimmer, and then some of the uh, biofilter media that it comes with. So really looking forward to building this and I'll have to ask you guys uh, what you want to see for corals in the Evo. So uh, as soon as we get through the rest of these Macna videos, uh, we're going to get started on that. So as you guys saw, if you didn't, um, check out day three, but I was talking about finding coral to bring home from Magna. And I just randomly started chatting with a guy, um, I think on the first or second day. Murfreesboro Aquatics uh, hooked me up with some coral, so let's take a look at that. That Pavona coral right there, right next, right to maybe an inch to the right of that Acapora um, was coloring up really, really well. It took a fall um, because it's on one of those plugs that I picked up from Magna. It kind of has a hard time sticking to a live rock, but um, it hasn't quite colored up the same since the last fall. So hopefully it can make a recovery and bounce back. The only thing that really isn't doing well, and I think it has more to do with my tank parameters right now, than, or maybe even the place of the coral, is this uh, mushroom. And the only reason I bought this mushroom uh, is because it is named lovingly Mad Hatter's Mushroom. So... Um, it's not doing that well right now. Hopefully it can make a little bit of a recovery. One interesting thing about the way I did my rock work on this, I have this shelf on the back. Um, you can barely see that Stylophora next to that Acro. Um, but I think that it's going to kind of give my tank a lot of depth um, once that coral starts to grow and it'll look pretty, pretty solid. The other major piece that I was really happy that I was able to get my hands on was the Liptoceras jack-o'-lantern. Right there you can see that mint and green one. You can't really pick up the coloration with the camera. Uh, but that is a coral that I've wanted for a very long time. And anytime that I've gotten an opportunity to almost get that coral, I ended up losing it. So finally have it in my tank. Hopefully it does well. Um, it has taken a fall, so I ended up having to glue the plug down, or at least tack it down a little bit. Um, but it seems to be doing okay, even though it's had a couple bumps and bruises. 
the uh, Pavona coral and the Leptoceras have definitely both have um, been knocked around. As you see that acro uh, on the back just got moved around. I got some crabs that are kind of uh, pissy. Style of for it, when you look at that man, that's definitely colored up really, really well. These are the corals that I got from Macna, and it's just nice to kind of have you know, a little piece of Macna that I can bring home, and it's going to be in my tank forever as long as I provide you know, the right living conditions for it. So uh, definitely happy with the corals. So if you guys want to check out Murfreesboro Aquatics, uh, they, they have some good stuff over there down in Tennessee. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time right here with a brand new video.